trail cinema during the X-rated movie Tiger Shark. Anyone that saw the movie where he was on his red bicycle uh, with the flat top, that was not the image projected on this particular evening. It's my understanding he now has a goatee, a mustache, and his hair is much longer. He had a cap on, and I guess he was dressed as any normal person going to a, a theater for an afternoon of theater enjoyment. Police also say three other men were also arrested on a similar charge of indecent exposure, a misdemeanor crime that could mean up to 60 days in jail and a $500 fine for the comedian. Rubens, who grew up in Sarasota, refused to comment on the charges, but his attorney Dan Danheiser told the Sarasota Herald Tribune Sunday, quote, he does a lot of things with kids over the world, and his career will be over when that story runs. This is not the first time Rubens has had a run-in with the law. According to police, Rubens was arrested in 1983 for loitering and prowling three blocks in the same Triple X South Trail Adult Theater. The 1983 misdemeanor charge was later dropped by the state attorney's office. Hey, what's today's piece of work, Conky? The 38-year-old Rubens developed the Pee Wee Herman character, a lovable nerd with nasal voice, skinny bow tie, and shrunken 50s-style suit in 1979 while working in L.A. as part of an improvisational group known as the Groundlings. After a 1982 HBO special popularized Pee Wee Herman, Ruben's star was on the rise. It led to a movie, Pee Wee's Big Adventure, and then to television's Pee Wee's Playhouse and another film, Big Top Pee Wee. Rubens, who was released from police custody on a $219 bond, will be arraigned August 9th in a circuit court. Bill Tush, CNN Entertainment News, New York.